Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to record a song when you have no recording equipment. This is going to be specifically for songwriters who are looking to record their ideas down, looking to record songs. This probably isn't for you if you're trying to look to record a nice studio finished polished record. Although I'm sure it can be done. All you're going to need to do this is an iPhone and a pair of headphones. Preferably a pair of headphones that have no inbuilt microphone, as I've found this to be a bit problematic. If you're somebody that doesn't own an iPhone, then there are apps that are on Google phones and Android phones that you can use, such as BandLab or FL Studios. But for today, we're going to go through iPhone and we're going to go through GarageBand. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your iPhone, you're going to go to the App Store, you're going to search for GarageBand and you're going to download it. Easy peasy. So now we're going to go to GarageBand and we're going to open it up. Now, if you've just opened GarageBand, then you'll get a nice shiny screen that says welcome and stuff like this. But you essentially just need to create a new song. And then it will give you options like this. Today we're going to focus primarily on audio recorder because we are approaching this like a songwriter who is trying to record their ideas, maybe record some guitar, maybe record some vocals. There are other options on here like a MIDI bass, MIDI guitar, there's a, a drummer, which is cool, and there are things called loops, but, to, but today we're primarily focusing on actually recording the song. So today I'm going to be recording some guitar and some vocals on the song that I'm recording on this video. Now, this might seem complicated and it might seem like there's a lot going on, but I'm going to try and make this really simple for you. Like I said, the bare bones for what you need to be able to do to make a recording that's demo quality that then you maybe take to the studio or send it to your friends. So we're going to click instrument because I'm going to be recording guitar. Now, I'm going to show you a few things here to make sure this process is easy as possible. So the first thing you want to do before you do any recording is click this little plus button in the corner because for some reason GarageBand automatically puts your recording into sections. So if you knew the sections of the song you were recording and you wanted to do it this way, you could. You could add section A and you could add a section B and a section C and you can edit it so it's four bars or eight bars or whatever. But to make it really easy and the way I work is you go on section A and you just make it automatic, which means there's no length to the song you're recording in terms of bars. So you're pretty free. So here we've got a channel up. If we click this button with lots of squares, you can kind of see your overall recording. We want to record some guitar in. But first things first, we're going to use our headphones. So as I said, you want a pair of headphones that preferably don't have a microphone input. The next thing I'm going to do is set my metronome, which I can do by clicking the cog and song settings and tempo. So the song I'm doing today is in like a cool like one, two, three, four. And it's cool because it's got a function that means you can tap the tempo. One, two, three, four. Nice. I like that number. So that means that when I record now, it will come out with the metronome. So here you've got four little options for EQ. This room is like a reverb. I don't want any reverb, so I'm turning room off. I already know I don't want that. If you want to hear what you're recording, you've got to press this on and off where it says monitor. So on means I can now hear myself through my headphones. Now the iPhone's microphone is down here on the bottom. So here's some really basic microphone placement tips. When you're recording guitar, you want the mic placement to be about 20 centimeters from the guitar, usually between the sort of 12th and 15th fret, but I'm assuming that we're going super basic here, so we're not gonna have mic stands. So all I'm doing is placing the iPhone on my knee so that it sounds okay. The other thing we can do is we can look at this where it says in and it's got the green thing going up and down. You don't want that going into the red. Maybe that's a little bit too far. So what we can 
always do there. Also, is to turn this down a tiny bit. But in my headphones, it's not distorting or anything, so hopefully it'll be okay. I'm going to record down this guitar, just one track, and then I will show you how to double track the guitar and pan them. The song I'm recording today is a song that I literally wrote in about 30 minutes prior to recording this video. Okay. That's first guitar track down. So we can listen to that back by pressing play. I'm turning the metronome off there so I don't have to listen to the metronome. Sounds good to me. So, like I said, what we want to do here, preferably, is double track the guitar because that what sounds nice. So what we can do here is we can select our track and we can go on track controls. And it says pan here, so pan essentially means which speaker it's going to come out of. So I'm going to pan this one to the left. We don't have to do, this is all formality that you don't have to worry about. If you know nothing about mixing, it's fine. My top tip for mixing is do what sounds good. Just mess around. That's how I learn, anyway. Right, so now we can add a new track by clicking this button here. It's an instrument on audio recorder again. Now before I record this second guitar part, I'm actually going to pan um, this track first because otherwise it will sound it will sound better whilst I record it and that's kind of important. So we're going to record again. I've got to try and remember exactly what I played to the exact T because we're doing a double. Again, mic just on my knee. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to get the two guitars at the same time. Perfect, it's hard. So what I'm going to do is going to make another track and try and get it so the double guitar will sound exactly the same as the first guitar. Ooh, very good. It's funny because the microphone's picking up when I'm doing that. Okay, so I recorded the two guitars down. I think that's all good. They um, don't quite match up, but like I said, if you wanted to get like a really professional sounding recording out of this, I'm sure it can be done. But this is more to show you how to record something for more like a demo purpose. To get that song idea down, a lot of people approach me and say, I want to learn to write songs and learning to write songs is fine. You don't need to be able to record them necessarily, but it really helps to refine your process. If you can record down your guitar parts and you can start refining the sections and then you can work on lyrics because you can record the lyric and you can listen to it back and you can hear whether it really fits or whether you need to say it slightly differently. So this would be a great tool for that. Like I said, if you use this tool as well, you might then progress into buying your own studio equipment. Maybe you'll progress into getting some different software like Logic, or you might even just use GarageBand on your computer, which is a hell of a lot simpler than the iPhone. Maybe it's because that's what I learned first, and this is something I'm kind of learning now. In my opinion, this is a great tool for getting those ideas down, in a sort of relatively simple, cohesive way. Maybe a future video could be me trying to record a studio quality song using my iPhone. So now I'm going to record some vocals. So this is a voice, audio recorder voice. This preset's got a lot more. Now I could put some pitch control on it, that would mean I'm all in tune. I don't want much hall on it. I'm in a very relatively echoey room as it is. I wrote this song in about 30 minutes earlier. Now, to sing, I am going to stand up. So I'm going to move you guys so we're in a stood up position. So this is how we're going to record. Because, like I said, the mic is here. I've got to watch out for this waving around because that does actually pick it up. Hello, 
I've got the monitor turned on here. As you can see, it's all going up and down. Pretty cool. Hello. So I wrote this song and this song's lyrics are very applicable to this situation as you're about to hear. And because I don't have a laptop, I had to write it down with a pen. So I've got it in my trusty journal here and I'm going to be singing it whilst reading off here. And the song itself is, um, it, it goes up to my laptop and you'll hear that in, in, uh, when it comes to the final version. So let's record this. For me, vocals, it's all about recording it in sections in order to sort of get the best quality. But as I said, this isn't about quality here. This is just about getting the idea down. So let's have a go at this. Yeah. That's my mic check to make sure it's not distorting. The, the iPhone has a relatively good compressor on it. And this isn't necessarily a good tip for songwriting recording. But if you're thinking of doing podcasts ever, I recommend the, the iPhone to start with. It's not too bad. But let's do this. Let me tell you what I'm thinking because I want to say it out loud. Got no way of doing anything musical when you're not around. Hey, we got a verse. Okay. I just have to make do with what I've got. Nice. Let's do another channel for the old chorus. What we want to do, see where you tap this and you can shorten it. And that will get rid of the um, bit unwanted bits that we don't want to hear. So now we need a chorus. So let's stick another voice there. Take off the voice all, put the monitor on. I sing a song into my iPhone Just to let you know that I don't want to go another week without you Without you Woo! Maybe a bit of pitch correction on that one Just to make sure it's in tune <laughs> Don't tell anyone Okay, now I've got my second verse Let me tell you what I'm thinking Cause I need to tell you all now you! I'm happy with that take. Right, let's do pre-chorus. Editing on the fly, that's what's going on here. I just have to make do with what I've got. I might have to double some of these up just to make them sound a little more crisp. Doubling up is, is what it's all about. If you double things up, it always sounds better. Okay, chorus. I sing a song into my iPhone just to let you know that I don't. Okay, I'm gonna do some harmonies too. We're gonna do some harmonies on this song. Make it sound good, make it sound full. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put lots of voice hall on, which makes it all echoey for that middle eight. Hold it far away. I should be so lucky. Woo! Now we've got a drop down chorus, so we'll use the chorus channel. I sing a song into my iPhone Just to let you know that I don't Alright, we've got the song down in its skeletal form So let's just put some harmonies and, and maybe some doubles in And I'll also edit out some of the Some of the like the silent bits on the audio Which if you're a complete novice at this Hopefully will show you a few things On what you can do Okay, so let's do some harmonies. So what I have noticed is when we do this, we can go more sounds, we can go vocals, and it gives us some like, some different kind of options for mixes. And if you're a purist, you probably would say, make your own mix, put your own compression and EQ on. But the thing is, is I actually learn most of the way I mix through following the presets and seeing what was on them and then just tweaking them. So I would say this is fine to do. But let's see what we've got. Stream stereo might work for, let's see what that sounds like. Hello, thicken, ooh, yeah. yeah thicken puts a load of like weird um, vibrato kind of tone on it. So let's do that and we'll keep this channel as harmony and we'll make it really low down in the mix. So probably don't need harmony on the verse, but we probably want one on the chorus. This is how I figure out harmonies. Sing a song into my iPhone. Almost, almost there. Without you. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double this up by going on track control and I'm going to pan it to the right, not all the way though. So then we can add another one in. We can go more sounds, extreme stereo, and then we can re-record what we've just put in. But first, let's put the track settings as the same. So that can pan, but that way. So now I've got to try and record the same thing that I just put in. I sing a song into my iPhone. Oh, it's hard, man. This is hard. Another reason why you should record your songs. You can figure out harmonies, you can get all those things done before you're studio ready. To get studio ready. I sing a song into my iPhone. Let's see what that sounds like, because it might sound awful. Okay, it sounds good. I'm going to do all the harmonies for the rest of the choruses, and then I think that's the song. <laughs> the next thing you'll hear is my song, I sing a song into an iPhone. That's what I've decided to call it. All recorded using GarageBand on my iPhone. Let's hope that I have my laptop back up and running by next week, but hopefully this has given you some insight on how you can record songs with no equipment. Let me tell you what I'm thinking cause I wanna say it out loud Got no way of doing anything musical when you're not around I just have to make do with what I've got I sing a song into my iPhone just to let you know that I don't wanna go another week without you Without you Let me tell you what I'm thinking Cause I need to tell you all now I should feel so lucky that I have something to complain about I just have to make do with what I've got I sing a song into my iPhone Just to let you know that I don't want to go another week Without you, without you I sing a song into my iPhone Just to let you know that I don't want to go another week Without you, without you I sing a song into my iPhone Just to let you know that I don't Wanna go another week without you Without you I sing a song into my iPhone Just to let you know that I don't Wanna go another week without you Without you